Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jonah Young if you're new and thanks so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you all a super easy landscape in a limited palette. Let's go over the colors, brushes, and canvas we're going to be using today. First starting off with the canvas, I've got a 9 by 12 double primed and stretched canvas here and the brushes we're going to be using are from my set of brushes I have a five piece set. We're going to be using a number 20 flat brush, a one inch mop brush, number three round brush, and number 14 filbert brush. And last but not least, number two. There, so you guys can see the number better on there number two rigor brush the colors i'm going to be using today are mars black sap green blue turquoise and titanium white you're also going to need a little spray bottle set it to fine mist and what you want to do is not only use this misting water bottle to wet your canvas down so that it takes your acrylic paint a lot better. Uh, it helps with blending, um, but you can also use it to finely mist your palette and keep it wet during your process of painting because we all know acrylic paint dries out quickly. So this is just one tip I have for you guys today to help prevent that from happening. So I'm going to start off by just finely misting my canvas, just a couple little sprays. And again, this is just water. And just taking my flat brush here to spread it around so that I'm evenly coating the canvas with just a little bit of water. If you have too much water on your canvas, the opposite will happen and your canvas won't hold the acrylic paint. It'll just run right off. It'll be too see-through, too transparent. So that's not good either. So just a little bit of water to moisten up that canvas. And if you've ever had trouble with spreading and blending your acrylics around, I'm telling you, this is life changing. This one little tip is gonna really help you stay in the game and not quit too soon. Okay, now we're gonna start covering the whole canvas. And we're gonna be using blue turquoise and green. So you just wanna take a scoop of each and just start spreading it all over the canvas. You can paint this any way you want. Side to side, up and down, doesn't matter. I recently uploaded a fun tutorial with another limited palette called Chocolate Forest. And it's with burnt sienna, black, white, and a little bit of metallic gold. So if you haven't seen that one yet, uh, I'll if I forget to add a link below for that one, just uh, check it out on my channel where I've got over 800 free tutorials. And again, it's called Chocolate Forest. There's lots to learn on there. And you'll see how much detail you can create light and shadow and mood just by using a few colors in a painting you don't always need to use a ton of colors that being said you guys know i do like to use a lot of color from time to time so it's fun to change it up and i've got a whole playlist of just strictly black and white um, paintings as well there's lots um, to learn in those limited palette paintings because um it can be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning when you're just learning how to paint. So um, just kind of keeping it simple in the beginning and learning about uh, highlights and shadows and brush strokes, mid-tones or grayscale painting with black and white can be really beneficial in your learning process. Okay, so what I wanna do now that we've got this on here is take a little bit of black and more of that green and blue and I'm just going to come in the corners here and make them a little bit darker. 
Again, just adding a little bit of black. We'll change that slightly, making it a, a little bit darker, drawing us into the center of the painting. And I'll just lightly go over, softening it all. Okay, now that the painting is all dry, this underpainting, we're gonna come in and start adding the water right here and the waterfalls. So we're just gonna keep this really, really simple. You wanna add a little bit of water to your number 20 flat brush. And you wanna just take some white, just straight white, We're going to come in on an angle like this, a couple inches down from the top on an angle, a little line like that, and then pull, curve, and drop. Then we'll come up a little higher from the right side. And you can just add a few levels, turning your brush this way to make some narrower ones is kind of nice too. Now, if you need to go over it a couple times, try not to push too hard. Otherwise, you'll be left with a solid brush stroke and you want it to be kind of streaky looking like this. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is take a little bit more white on the end of your brush and we're just gonna, right at the base, you gotta decide where you want the bottom of your waterfall to stop and fall into and you're just gonna kind of just fluff around here little wiggles and ripples I'm just shaking and moving my brush around so it's kind of going it's going like this making it kind of ripply and then you're gonna go from those ripples and then just kind of pull up And then a little bit more in here. I'm going to rinse my brush out. And I'm going to go back for a little bit more white. See how my bristles are spread apart into sections like this? I'm going to use that to create some more lines in my waterfalls. And you can kind of shake a little bit when you do it too. That'll give you a little bit more movement. And I always like to go from the bottom up as well. And then add just a shorter one right there. I'm going to wash my brush out. The next brush I'm going to take is my number one mop brush. and it's dry. All I want is to have a little bit of paint on my brush. So I'm gonna go into a little bit of sap green, a little bit of black, and blue turquoise. And I'm gonna start tapping up here. I know you can't see it yet. I'm gonna add a little bit over here as well. 
here you'll be able to see it. It'll show up a little more because the background is lighter than the color I'm adding right now. I'm gonna add some up over here. And then I'm gonna take a clean and dry mop brush. This is just another one I've got lots of mop brushes on hand. You want it to be clean and dry and then just go in to your white. A little bit of white, so see how I'm loading my brush. I'm kind of pulling a little bit of it and then you want to just push and tap lightly. pull and drop down here just to create a soft reflection and take another dry mop brush go over this in little circles Soften, soften, blur it up a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is come in with some black. I'm going to use my number three round brush, a little bit of water, and black, some sap green in there, and I'm going to come in and add a tree trunk right here on an angle, and then pull it out. a few branches just using the tip of your brush with minimal pressure okay then we're going to go over to the other side and add another tree Curve it down here, flatten it out at the bottom, twist and roll, And now we'll add a few rocks, just black. I'm going to add a few smaller ones, kind of stagger them around, and then we're going to make them bigger. Make a few small ones here closer together.
Just little half circles. And then I'll use my filbert brush. Number 14, filbert brush for these larger ones. I'm just gonna pull underneath some of these rocks for a little reflection and shadow. And I'm going to go over to my mop brush again and I'm going to take some black with some green and I'm going to start tapping in some foliage and some leaves here just light little taps I'm going to add a little bit along the side here as well. I'm going to use my liner brush or rigger brush. Get it a little wet. Add some black. Add a few thinner branches. Hardly any pressure. Be very light. And just pull and wiggle. Okay, for you can leave it like this and it looks quite nice, but I really want to um, warm it up a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that quickly with a yellowy green. Now, this one is light olive green. By Liquitex Basics Acrylic. I'm going to use my flat brush. And just I'm going to go over part of the water. So when you thin it down with a little bit of water, it's transparent, right? And you can just apply a glaze or filter. Over the whole thing,
Then I'm going to take a little bit of black sap green. And blue turquoise. Mix all the colors up except for white. And I'm going to come in. and shade around the edges a little bit more. This will help create that mood that I want and the lighting, more of a vignette. And then we can go in. Looks neat, like it's kind of misty over the rocks, but if you want to have your rocks show up a little bit more, that just add some more black. I'm just using the corner of my flat brush. more. With a clean brush, my flat, number 20, more white. I'm going to add just a little bit more white now. Freshen this area up. And a final dab of black with my one inch flat brush or mop brush, I mean. And a few more lines, ripples here. Okay, so there you have it. A quick and easy uh, limited palette painting. I hope you guys learned a lot of great tips and tricks in this painting tutorial today. Be sure to leave a comment, question below if you have one, and give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Just click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing and you'll learn a ton here on my channel where I've got well over 800 videos. Uh, thanks so much everybody. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!